Hello everyone, I am Dr. A. Naresh Kumar, Assistant Professor in the Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. Today we are going to discuss about outcome based education related to basic electrical engineering. Now here, so first uh, definition, so what is the definition for outcome based education? In short, we can call it as OBE is a process that involves the reconstructing of curriculum, assessment and reporting practices in education to reflect of higher order learning and mastery rather than accumulation of the course credits. Now this is other name and in the year defined. So now here OBE is focusing on outcome. Every course has outcome, should have outcome. Now here it is not only limited to credits and marks. People are studying the course for marks and outcomes. Now curriculum has been changed. So there is a difference between an uh, ancient uh, type of educa education and traditional education system. OBE has, uh, addresses, uh, addresses four questions. The first question, what do you want the students to have and able to do? And second question, second question, how, how can you best help the students achieve it and third question how will you know what they have achieved and next fourth question how do you close the loop so now here a student should know what will be the outcome of the course so now here in the OBE in the OBE outcome education system. So these are the terminologies. So basic terminology in the OBE. What is the course first? Course, course outcome, program, program outcomes. Next to PEOs, program educational outcomes and graduate attributes. And next PSOs, program specific outcomes. So course is defined as, let me change the color over here course is defined as a theory or practical. Next is theory come practical. Subject studied in the semester. So that is the course definition. So now here basic electrical engineering one subject in the computer science engineering program. So now this course is for a theory come practical subject. Some subjects here, some subjects, so now here, um, some subjects are so, uh, only theory, some subjects are only for laboratory. So now here, what about the course outcomes are the statements that means COs, in call we can uh, call, in short we can call it as COs are the statements that describe the significant and essential, essential learning that learners to have achieved and can uh, reliably and demonstrate at the end of the course. Generally, three or more course outcome may be specified for the each course based on its weightage. And next, what is the program? Each course has its own outcomes and next program is defined as a specialization or discipline of a degree. It is the interconnected arrangement of course, co-curricular and extracurricular activities to accomplish a predetermined objectives leading to the awarding of degree. So example for course uh, program is here computer science engineering that is B or BTEC computer science engineering, BTEC uh, electrical and electronics engineering and next this program outcomes. So these program outcomes are the narrower statements that describes 
what the students uh, what students are expected to able to do by the time of graduation so these are a uh, pos pos are expected to be aligned closely with graduate attributes and next program educational objectives these are pos so these are the program objectives program are the students that describes expected achievements of the graduates in their career and also in particular what the graduate what the graduates are expected to perform and achieve during the first few years after graduation next these are important pso program specific outcomes so here are uh, these are psos are what the students should be able to do at the time of graduation with reference to specific discipline usually there are two or four psos per program and graduate attributes there are 12 so knowledge base for engineering problem solving communication teamwork lifelong learning like that there are 12 number in number are examples of the graduate attributes ex expected of graduate from an accredited program next these are the basics now i will explain um, outcome based education for uh, basic electrical engineering here for this one is course description first here uh, i am explaining uh, that course description for computer science engineering that is program and next here course name is uh, basic electrical engineering and that is course code is awc01 and next that program name is btech btech and next here this course is for first year first year for sem csc csc aml artificial intelligence and machine learning and next csc data science csc ds and csc cyber security csit computer science and information technology next information technology in the second semester same course we will study aeronautical engineering subject aeronautical engineering for mechanical engineering and for civil engineering so now here in this this course is uh, for uh, uh, theory and practical in the first semester so now for aeronautical mechanical civil only theory subject so same course awc01 so now here this course type is foundation and according regulation is iare ug20 credits for this course is 3 credits and next thing here oh, overview of this course so here basic electrical engineering enables knowledge on electrical quantities such as what are the electrical quantities here current voltage current voltage and here power next and energy to know the impact of technology in global and societal and uh, context and this course provides knowledge on basic dc and ac circuit direct current and ac uh, alternating uh, current uh, circuits used to electrical and electronic devices and highlights the importance of transformers electrical machines in generation transmission and distribution of electrical power identify the types of electrical machines suitable for particular applications so this is course overview for basic electrical engineering subject next syllabus so in the first model so here uh, total five modules in this 1 2 3 4 5 in the first module introduction to the electrical circuits so first circuit concept in that ohms law kirchhoff law kvl and kcl equivalent resistance of network that means here 
series connection parallel connection for resistors inductors and capacitors source transformation technique voltage source to the current source and current source to the voltage source that source transformation and next star to delta and delta to star transformation next thing here mesh analysis and nodal analysis next ac quantity single phase ac circuit representation of alternating quantity average value of rms value form factor peak factor next related to that waveforms uh, problems and concept of impedance and admittance this is about first module so now what about the second module network theorems and network topology so total eight theorem but here in this uh, curriculum in this uh, course so superposition theorem reciprocity theorem thevenin theorem and norton theorem and maximum power transfer theorem for dc excitation circuits only not for ac excitation circuits and next here network topology in the basic terminology in the ba uh, network topology and next here graph tree incident matrix basic cut set matrix and basic tie set matrix for planar networks here and dc machines so dc machines here dc machines means dc generator and dc motor dc uh, working principle of dc generator and dc motor and here in this construction construction of dc generator and dc motor is same and in this emf equation and types of dc generator losses and efficiency in this back emf back emf significance torque equation and types next types types of motors next losses and efficiency and numerical problems on losses and efficiency and next fourth module is single phase transformer single phase transformer means here principal operation of single phase transformer construction of transformer types of transformer that means core type and shell type transformer and next thing here emf equation of transformer operation of transformer under no load and load condition and phasor diagrams next equivalent circuit efficiency regulation and numerical problems next here fifth module ac machines that means single phase uh, three phase induction motor and alternator so in this the same way here working principle of uh, three phase induction motor construction and next thing slip slip torque uh, characteristics torque slip characteristics next efficiency and applications here alternates alternator so introduction and principal operation constructional features and calculation regulation of alternator using synchronous impedance method and numerical problems so this syllabus is total five modules so now here prerequisites for this in the same first semester so prerequisites are linear algebra and calculus so that course is here that program name is same btech and next here uh, that course code is ahsc02 in the first semester only linear algebra and calculus that is the prerequisites next what are the textbooks so textbooks uh, are so the uh, other name dunpatry and sons so that is 6th edition 2010 chakravarti electrical circuits and sudhakaran shamon palli electrical circuits circuits and networks so tata migrails publication next this is important vk meta s chan series publisher so first edition 2003 principles of electrical engineering so next electrical machinery and electric machines for third fourth and fifth modules so these three were and these two are for first and second and these three are oh, sorry this one is these last two are third fourth and fifth modules and third one this one is for for all modules next these are the reference books electrical circuits basic electrical engineering and next circuits and network analysis and circuits next evaluation methodology here total 100 marks here total 70 marks for sce and 30 marks for cia sce means se semester end examination and continuous internal uh, examination 
continue internal assessment so in this again 10 marks for CIE 1 so that is midterm 1 and CIE 2 10 marks and AAT so this is tech talk uh, for 5 marks and concept videos for 5 marks total here 30 marks for CIA and SCE for 70 marks total 100 marks next course objective so students will try to learn the fundamentals of uh, total five objectives here so first objective is here fundamentals of electrical circuits and analysis of circuits with dc excitation using circuit loss this is first module for and so this one is also first module applications of circuit loss in the network theorems and graph theory to simplify complex networks and construction and working principle of dc uh, dc generator motor and types of dc machines based on the fixed excitation method and the theory of faraday's law the theory of faraday's law and mutual inductance and the working of single phase transformer and next fifth objective is course objective the concept of rotating magnetic field and constructional features and the principle and the types of AC machines. So, so these are the course objectives. Students will learn, try to learn these uh, course objectives. And next course outcomes after successful completion of the course, students should be able to first hear total um, six courses, uh, six outcomes, COs. So, students should be able to solve the complex electrical circuits by applying network reduction techniques for reducing into simplified networks. So, Bloom's taxonomy level is applied. And next, second CO students will try to, uh, students are able to define the basic uh, no nomenclature of single phase AC circuits for obtaining impedance admittance of series and parallel circuits so, so bloom's taxonomy level is here remember so solve means that is apply bloom's taxonomy level and next here students should be able to make use of various network theorems and graph theory for simplifying complex electrical networks so bloom's taxonomy level is here apply and students um, are able to uh, demonstrate construction and working prin uh, principle uh, of DC machines for their analysis that Bloom's taxonomy level is understand. So next, next illustrate working construction and obtain equivalent circuit of single phase transformer Bloom's taxonomy level is understand, illustrate and explore electromagnetic loss used for construction and operation of synchronous okay. asynchronous machines understand now here total how many total how many uh, number here bloom's taxonomy level so here remember is here remember is only one apply are two and understands are three so remember is one only and understand is three and next here apply level is four. These are the POs, PO1, PO2, PO3, PO4, PO5, POs. Total 12 POs for this program. So engineering knowledge, problem analysis, design, development of solution, conduct investigations of complex problems modern tool usage the career and society and next po7 environment and uh, sustainability ethics individual and teamwork communication project and pro uh, project management and finance and lifelong learning so these are 12 po's co's and next mapping of co po and uh, po's so now here co1 is mapped to this one and here all PO, uh, P, PO, all COs are mapped to P1 and next CO1 and 3 are mapped and here PSO1, 3 and 5 are mapped. Next, 
percentage of key competencies here this one is 100 100 100 100 and next 10 percent and next 25 percent here next total uh, count for uh, key competencies here so 3 3 3 3 3 so 1 and this is 1 and 1 now here in this this uh, total is total how many 18 and this 2 2 by 6 means that is 0 0.2 by 6 so that means here 0 0.1 by 3 means 0 0.33 and this one is also 3 by 6 that means 0 0.5 so now this is regarding outcome based education i hope it is clear to you thank you thank you very much to you all like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates